the AMD Ryzen 9 7950X3D has been a long time coming. The follow-up to last generation's 5800X3D, these new chips from AMD have 3D cache which should boost their gaming performance. Has AMD finally given us a gaming CPU that doesn't sacrifice application performance? And those looking for the absolute best gaming performance, would you be better off waiting for the 7800X3D? Starting off with the 4K results, and we can see that the Ryzen 9 7950X 3D is not the fastest CPU available right now. The Intel Core i9 13900K is a massive 0.8% faster, meaning they're effectively tied. The X3D model is about 4% faster than the standard 7950X and is roughly 5% faster than the outgoing 5800X 3D. Even with an RTX 4090, 4K results don't really showcase too much, so moving over into 1440p results, and we can see that the lead for the 13900K has grown to 2%. The X3D model of the 7950X is 11% faster than its namesake, and the 7950X3D is roughly 12% faster than the outgoing 5800X3D. Even at 1440p, we're still a little bit GPU limited, so moving over into 1080p, and we can see that the 7950X3D and the 13900K are virtually tied, only 0.2% between them. The vanilla 7950X is now 12% slower, followed by the AM4 5800X3D being 15% slower than its new flagship. While 1080p might be the most common resolution for people trying to eke out every frame that they can, moving over to 720p shows us the true potential of what these CPUs can do with potential future GPU hardware. And with any GPU bottlenecks removed, we can see that the AMD Ryzen 9 7950X3D is the fastest gaming CPU available right now. It's 1.6% faster than the i9-13900K, almost 14% faster than the vanilla 7950X, and more than 17% faster than the 5800X 3D. And if you're currently rocking any AM4 CPU that's not the 5800X 3D, you're gonna be looking at close to a 30% uplift gen over gen with this new 7950X 3D. So yeah, if you are looking to get the most amount of frames possible at either very low resolutions or are willing to lower down the settings, the 7950X 3D is the fastest CPU available, at least right now. And when it comes to professional applications, the 7950X 3D doesn't necessarily break any new boundaries, but it does at least match the regular 7950X coming in about 2% slower than the Core i9-13900K. While the dip in clock speed is not noticeable when gaming, it is noticeable when looking at power consumption. The 7950X3D uses only 56 watts on average while playing games, which is 25 watts less than the regular 5950X more than 50 watts less than the slower i7-3700K, and a massive 87 watts less than the i9-3900K. Which is kind of a big deal since the 7950X3D is just as fast as the 13900K while using 40% of the energy. This makes AMD's newest flagship the most efficient gaming CPU you can buy right now being head and shoulders more efficient than anything other than the outgoing 5800X 3D, and pretty much double any of the latest Intel CPUs. That lower power usage is also apparent in applications, and using Cinebench here as an example, you can see that the 7950X 3D gets the most points per watt out of pretty much any CPU we have ever tested. So even though it's not any faster than the 7950X, it is more efficient. And that efficiency and lower power usage also leads to lower CPU temperatures. The latest AMD flagship is about 11 degrees cooler than its namesake, 
and 16 degrees cooler than the Core i9-13900K. That being said, you could always just put on a bigger cooler on some of these other chips, especially since they're a little bit cheaper. But if you are going to be in a thermally limited situation, like in a small form factor build, the 7950X3D is pretty hard to beat. Where it's not hard to beat the new Ryzen 9 7950X3D is on performance per dollar, especially if you're looking at application performance. This being the worst case scenario, you're gonna get much better value out of pretty much any CPU you can buy. With all other costs being equal, the Ryzen 9 7950X3D costs $130 more than the Core i9-13900K, which in many situations it's just as fast as, or in other situations, a little bit slower. And the non-X3D variant is also in a pretty good situation since it gets all the application performance and most of what you can get in gaming. But what if you're only interested in gaming performance? Well, at that point, maybe you should be holding off for the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. Using simulated performance here by disabling one of the CCDs, we can see that the 7800X3D is probably going to be a little bit faster than the 7950X3D, all while costing several hundred dollars less. Granted, it's not much faster than the regular 7950X3D, especially if you're looking at like something like 4K gaming. But if you're looking for the best gaming performance, you should probably be holding off for the 7800X3D. And if you need application performance, you might as well look at the 7950X. And if you're looking for both, then the Intel i9-13900K does put up a strong argument. But for the best gaming performance available right now, and the best efficiency when it comes to applications, the 7950X3D stands alone on top with a price point to match. <laughs>